Hey, welcome back everybody. So this episode of The Marketing Show, we're gonna talk about the stale opportunity workflow in Go High Level. They make it really easy to build this right out of the box. It's pretty much native. So basically, what's the big idea here? It's that, hey, you've got, um, you've got appointments that have come in, you've got leads, uh, forms that have been filled out, right? And so pe basically, people have come in here as a different statuses, lead, sales call, waiting for follow-up, different, different statuses in your pipeline. And you want to ask yourself, hey, has this person been sitting here in this status for two days, three days, whatever it is? Okay, you can set that up right now. I'll show you how. So the trigger is called stale opportunity. Okay, and then you pick the filter uh, in this pipeline, in this stage, a lead stage, and then how long has it been there? What do you want to do once you've got the information? Then you could send a text message, for example, and you can... Just say, hey, contact name has been in a lead status for X number of days. Do you need to follow up? Okay. So if we were going to build that, you would just basically come here, create a workflow, start from scratch, create a new workflow. And then the trigger, like we said, is going to be stale. And there it is. And then you pick from the filters, different pipelines, different stages, right? So in pipeline, you can say, well, let's do the support pipeline. Maybe a support ticket's been sitting there for too long without any movement, okay? And then the stage, well, it's been in the new ticket status for way too long, okay? So then we do that and say, how long has it been in there? One day. If it's been in there longer than one day and hasn't moved, then I want to notify myself with an internal SMS, send internal email notification, etc and then you would just proceed to build just like the other one. So that is stale opportunity workflows. Hope that helps. We'll see you in the next video.